time to get a little rest. I think we're all rested up. Yeah, we can't exactly take our time on this one. Togetsu could have sent people after you too. Be careful out there. I'll do what I can on my end to support you. Man, Haruka, you're great. I thought Yuito Platoon's Wataru was pretty good, but hey, you're not so bad yourself. Gotta hand it to our twins for all their support, right? Love ya! It would have been the perfect compliment if you didn't mention my brother, but thank you. <sighs> do you have no shame? What? Aren't you ashamed that you just can't pay anyone a compliment? If anyone should feel ashamed, it's you. Kyoka, Arashi, let's go. It seems like Kagero and Shiden want to mess around. Well, you heard her, Shiden. Want to mess around then? So what will it be? A fist fight? Power battle? A youngin like you won't best me. Shut up! Don't make me part of your antics! Anyway, if we're going to talk to Seiron, where should we start? I suppose we should think about that before we head there. Yeah, we don't have any connections with the Seiron government. What about your influence with the press, Arashi? I'm good at using them to promote an image. But getting them to do what I want, when I want, is a different story. Moreover, we're talking about politics here. Getting people to believe us is not going to be an easy task. This is the type of information that would be better spread among the people as a rumor, than inform them once enough interest builds. An impressive analysis from a former spy. I... I know that's a compliment, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. Hmm? Hey, let's get back on topic. What about that official from before? The guy who asked us to assassinate Yuito? Hmm... We had that disagreement over Naomi. I doubt he'd be willing to hear us out after that. Karin might be able to get through to the Seiron government. Right, Major General Karin. It does seem like he could. He left in a hurry when we last saw him at the facility where they were keeping Naomi. I wonder where he is now. Wait! Something is happening at the Supernatural Life Research Facility! Good thing we decided to monitor it. They're starting to transport the other weapons! Transport? What do you mean? Their destination is Mizuhagawa. Naomi is included. What are they planning on doing with her? Probably nothing good, considering all the trouble they're going through. Did they leave some kind of plan behind? They need some reason to be doing this. Wait, it's mostly been redacted, but I found one. Oh, they have the name of the person in charge. No, it can't be. Tell us who it is already. The one trying to take the other weapons? It's Major General Fubuki. Fubuki? Why? There was always a possibility that he was somehow involved, considering the research facility is operated by Spring Pharmaceuticals. I'm just wondering about Major General Karin and whether or not he's involved. Because if he is... I don't care about the reason right now. We can ask them when we get there. You're absolutely right. But either way, we still have to go rescue Naomi. Yeah. Should be easy to talk if Fubuki's in charge. I can't imagine they have enough people with the transfer power to carry all the other weapons at once. Even with the shuttling, they will have to take breaks between transfers. We should still have time to make it. We should hurry before it's too late. What is Major General Fubuki doing in Mizuhagawa? Maybe moving the other weapons to Suo. If so, Naomi and the rest might not be safe. We have to get my sister back. Let's move!
Shiden's electrokinesis might work. I confirmed a water attack. Are you okay? Being wet makes it hard to move. Stronger again. Can you handle it? Your finisher was good, Kasane. Kasane, you have to use my duplication.
Please call her up. I'll do it. Check me. Go. I'm borrowing this. Got it. It's over. Make it good. Useless. Check me. together. I can see Naomi, and it looks like more human-born others. So they can actually control others. That's Kodama Platoon. Are they transporting them to Suo? What do you want to do? You want to try contacting Major General Fubuki through Brain Talk? We don't have time for that. We're going to get right in their faces. Arashi, can I leave the negotiation with the Major General to you? I think that's best. I should be the one to do it. Just be ready to fight if things go south. I'm ready. I think we all are. Okay, let's go. Fubuki, Kodama, what are you doing? Ah! What are you doing here? Kasane? Arashi? Kodama, I need you to stand down. You got it, Master Fubuki. Okay, guys, you'd better not try to pull a fast one, or I'm gonna get mad! What are you doing here? More importantly, why did you side with Karin? It's left Suo in a mess. If you tell me that Karin tricked all of you, I can talk to the higher-ups in New Himuka on your behalf. Thanks for the generous offer, but we've got some questions for you first. These others you're transporting, do you know what they are? Of course I do. They're weaponized, human-born others. So what exactly are you planning on doing with them? I've received information that Karin is gathering people with powers in Mizuhagawa. According to my investigation, he's planning on joining forces with Togetsu, taking with him technology he stole from Suo and Seiron. I want to stop him. I see. So you needed extra help in the fight against Karin and thought to use the other weapons to get the upper hand. Yes. Even he should be reluctant to attack human-born others. If it should come to a fight, as long as we have these other weapons... Arashi, what are you... Kodama? Did we just get duped? Hold on, why are there two Kodamas? Take that! Missed. Harashi's hypervelocity is annoying. Looks like the cat's out of the bag. Is she using duplication? No, she's not. And I don't sense anything close to my power. She's real. Who in their right mind freaking attacks their younger brother with a chainsaw without hesitation? I didn't hesitate because there's no way Fubuki would use human-born others to attack Karin. Not if she is among the others here. He would never consider using the other weapons in an actual fight. Maybe Fubuki was only following someone's orders after being subjected to a personality rehabilitation. Then it would have been my duty as his sister to stop him at any cost. Even if it means cutting him down. What a scary sister. <sighs> I thought I did a pretty good job. Great. This is why it's a pain when someone they're close to shows up. I don't care about your issues. Who are you? Are you design children from Togetsu, too? 
Design what now? We're Suo kids, born and raised. I guess there's no sense in hiding it at this point, since you know there's two of us already. I'm Yuta Malone, Kodama's older twin sister. I'd say nice to meet you, but we've already met each other a few times now. You're twins? Something felt off when Seiron's transport team was attacked. It's because that Kodama we saw was actually Yuta. Exactly. Wasn't my transformation power amazing? Normally, I'd hate showing myself. But how could I not when it means getting to see my hero, Kasane? What? Hero? Oh, just remembering how you crushed Kodama like a bug? <laughs> Sends a shiver down my spine. Cut that out! You sound like a total creep. And stop acting like you were there. You're always ordering me around from behind the scenes. I like being valued by the new Himuka government, but I'm the one who's always getting stuck with the annoying work. Stupid Kodama. Stop blabbing everything to them. So you're working for new Himuka. Are you planning on using Naomi and the other weapons for a war? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Unfortunately, now that you learned our secret, we're going to have to kill you. Sorry, but this is the end of the road for you. I'll never let you use Naomi. You're the ones who are about to be ended. <laughs> I'm so excited that I get to play with my hands on this planet. Awesome. Fishy about her, so that's who she really is. That's gonna be <laughs> hey, don't let me in with her. I'm not a creep like you tell. You got this, Kasane. Go ahead and use my power. Is that all you've got? Let's go, Utah. Right, me, will you? Utah's attack changed. Make it good. You just transformed into Kodama. <laughs> so that's how these sisters fight. That's gonna leave a mark. You got me. Not yet. Not bad. bad. Get it together. They got us. 
I'm still throbbing from Kasane's attacks. Not another word. I hate that we're related. We've got you now. Give up. <laughs> I just got a good idea. You said Naomi is in there. Seems like a good opportunity to try out the other weapons. Whoa, Yuta. That's messed up. No, don't! It's showtime! So they really do obey your commands. Whoever came up with this is sick in the head. Naomi! Oh, is this what they call overkill? I wanted to take Kasane home with me and make her my pet. Naomi, can you hear me? It's me, Kasane! Kasane... What? What is this attack? Suo reinforcements? No, it's... To get to. It's a design children army. Damn it, they came after Kasane. Who are those guys? They just straight up ruined my plan! Well, I'm not getting caught in the middle of this. It sucks to lose the other weapons, but hey, their survival didn't really matter to the plan anyway. Looks like they're after you guys. Have fun now! Show them a good time for us. Until we meet again, Kasane, we'll be sure to have lots of fun together next time. They just teleported out. I still had a lot of questions for them. Uh, these guys really don't hold back. Their tactics only work because they're using disposable design children. I can't get through to any of them. They've shut off all the connections I used in Togetsu. Guess they're not interested in talking. Do we have an escape plan? I'm looking, but I've got nothing. There's no way out of this unless you can teleport out of there. What are you saying? Everything's okay. Naomi? I finally understand why I was turned into this other. It was to protect you. What are you talking about? I'll draw them away. You can't take them on all alone, even if you are another. I'm not alone. Everyone said they would help, too. Don't, Naomi. You can't. I'll find another way out. I'm sorry. You always had to take care of me. Let me be your big sister this one last time. <laughs> Everyone, we need to get to safety. She would want us to survive. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Naomi! Naomi! Looks like we made it. Naomi and the others. Naomi! 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 
wait! Leave me. No. <laughs> Naomi, why? Where have you been, Karin? Alice. I failed. Again. <laughs> Major General Karin? I have to use this again. What are you talking about? They killed my sister! Why did she have to die to protect me? Why did this have to happen to her? Silence. We can use the red strings. <laughs> Karin, are you eating her power? <gasps> this happened before. I'll try again. As many times as it takes. Yuito, where is he right now? He's gone. He must have teleported. Did he just say Yuito? You're right. That was his brain eater. He just copied my red strings. Yes, but he didn't appear to use it. Since Major General Karin is not a red strings user like Kasane, he might need some sort of condition to activate the power. Could that condition be Yuito? If we take the connection between time travel and the Kunad Gate into account, Karin is trying to get his hands on the power that opened the Kunad Gate. But why is he trying to travel through time? 
Alice was definitely one of those among the others. Is he intending to go back and... Who the heck is Alice? I don't care about what Karin wants. If he uses the red strings, it might have adverse effects on the Kunad Gate. <laughs> don't try to push yourself. His brain-eater power taxes your brain heavily. If that's true, then what about Yuito? Didn't they say his brain was already messed up or something? Yuito might not be able to withstand the Brain Eater. All the more reason to stop Karin. We'll need to contact him. Yuito Platoon is currently within Arahabaki's secure site and isolated from the network. Arahabaki? Really? Yes. After what Major General Karin said, I managed to get Wataru to tell me Yuito's location. Oh, you might already know this, but Wataru is my brother. He is Yuito Platoon's operator. He's concerned because he lost contact with them, too. He wasn't sure if his telepathy was reaching them. Okay, thank you. Arahabaki is in Suo. It looks like that's where we're going. Great. Not only Togetsu, but now we have Major General Karin to add to the list of people trying to mess with the Red Strings. Are you alright, Kasane? It sounds like Yuito is in danger. I know you're worried about him too, Naomi. That's why I'm going to go save him. It still doesn't feel real to me. How could you be gone? I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. Thank you. Thank you for protecting me until the very end. Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. Hey, you still haven't answered me. Who is this Alice? She's Fubuki and Karin's childhood friend. And Fubuki's fiance. But she became an other a long time ago. That's why she was in the same lab as Naomi.